fine morning, Charles the chicken went out to peck for food. When along came a stranger. Hmm, what is going on? And out came a strange chicken that he had never seen before. Well, hello there. My name is Mr. World. Oh, hi. My name is Charles. Charles the chicken. Glad to meet you. Oh, you would be perfect for our new movie. How would you like to be a movie star? Gee, me? A movie star? Oh, no, I never, never even thought of it. Not one bit. Oh, you can leave all this behind you and do something for yourself. Leave all this behind me. I love this place. Oh, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Come on now. Do something for yourself. Well, the other chickens need me. I, I help them a lot. And here's my friend Ned. And oh, you're going to have to ditch Ned. He can't come. We don't allow bugs. Oh, I, I don't think that sounds very good. You'll be rich and famous and as happy as you can possibly be. Just give it a try. You'd make a great movie star. Come on, just give it a try. Well, I guess I could give it a try. Uh, Ned, I'll be back soon. I, I'll be back real soon. That's the spirit. Now come with me and get in the car. And so the two chickens went in the car and sped off. All right, now, Charles, just be yourself. You know, you're the one who's getting the chicken under arrest. He's stealing the bird seed. You're the deputy. Now, just, just relax and do your best. Okay, sir, I'll do it. <laughs> I got my bird seed. I got my bird seed. <laughs> You hold it right there. You stop in your tracks. You can't be stealing that bird seed. Now turn around and put your wings up, I tell you. Ah! Who are you? I'm the new deputy. Now you're under arrest, I tell you. No more stealing. Okay, sir. All right. All right. Off to jail with you. And cut! That was fantastic! Was it all right, sir? It was perfect! I knew you'd be great at this part! Good job! Thank you! This is kind of fun! And off he went to his hotel room. Back at home, the chickens gathered to read the good book together and to eat dinner together. But Charles wasn't there. Where's Charles? Ned, where's Charles? Oh, he went to become a movie star. Oh, no. I miss him. Who's going to read from the good book for us and explain things? Well, I don't know how to read, and I can't explain things like, like Charles can. Oh, yeah. I'm really sad he's gone. Yeah, me too. Well, I guess we'll just eat dinner together. I hope he comes back soon. Me too. At his hotel, Charles had a feast before him. My, my, this is the best dinner I've ever seen. Large, juicy carrot, strawberries, and juicy worms. Oh, it's a feast. Mm, mm, mm. This is the life for me. Mm, mm. Soon, some girl birds came by. Hello, movie star. Oh, hello there. Will you sign our feathers? We want your autograph. Oh, why, certainly. And he signed away. Oh, thank you, Mr. Movie Star Charles. You're welcome. Wow. I got to sign an autograph. This is very cool. Yep, this is just the beginning. Here's your check. You go buy yourself some fancy duds. I thought I was wearing fancy duds. Oh, those are just from acting. You go buy yourself your clothes you like. Go downtown. 
Oh, yes, sir! Right away, sir! Months had gone by, and Charles went home after a day of acting all tired out and sad. He went to his motel room and just felt very sad. Ah, oh, this is not the life for me. Oh, no, no, no. I miss my friends. I miss reading the good book. I miss everything about my life the way it used to be. Oh, I want to go home. That's what I want to do. And so he went out the door and headed for home. And so he arrived home. Look who's here! Oh, oh, look who's here! Charles, Charles, you're back, you're back! Yippee! Oh, yeah, I sure missed you guys. Oh, we missed you too! Well, it wasn't like I thought it would be. You know, I missed all of you terribly. My heart is here, not with Mr. World. And all of his movies and money and fame, that's not the life for me. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be too. And my heart is here with you guys. Oh, we missed you so much. And where's Ned? Ned, Ned. Bzz, oh, yippee. Oh, Ned, my friend. Oh, I missed you horribly. We all did. And with that, the friends had a wonderful evening together, reading from the good book and eating together. And it was a great celebration. Hello there, it's me, Ellie. And today we're talking about a shaky S sound. Uh-huh, we're going to code it with two lines underneath. Remember, it's a shaky S sound. Normally, we just say S. Uh-huh. But with it coated with a couple lines, just think of it as being shaky. Uh-huh. And it can say Sh. Or if you put your voice to it like Sh, it can say that too. And that is my version of a story. Uh-huh. Play on words here. Uh-huh. Er, there's a er. There's my shaky s. And use your voice. On version. That's my version of the story. And it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Voila. Hello, it's Jerome. I'm on TV. I represent Jerome in Ellie and Jerome's cozy schoolhouse. Uh-huh, and recently we've been going over the crazy S that can be kind of a shaky sound. It's got a double line under it to help us remember that it can say other things besides just S. Uh-huh, um, and here I am out in the mountains. It's a great day. Uh-huh, on television, which is what we're going to go over. All right? So, let's just keep this in mind, this shaky ass. It's got a double line. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Being on television is interesting. T L T L E T L E V I T L E V I And there it is. Zh on television. You remember, it can say this sound, shh, or with your voice, zh, as in this situation. Uh-huh. So, here I am on television. All right, see you guys later. Jerome. Yeah, Ellie? Are you almost done with that book, Mary and the Royal Bears? Almost. I sure am. Yeah, I'll, I sure am, Mally. I'll just leave it right here. Marrying the Royal Bears. It was great. It sure was. Uh-huh. So, I don't say it sir, sir was. No, I say, remember we double underline this to get your attention. You know this sound. I know you do. We've gone over it in the past. Shh. Okay, just remember that. All right, we'll stick it up there as a reminder. I sure am.
I'm finished with the book, Ellie. I promise. Okay, Jerome, because you said that you were done last time. Well, this time, I sure am. Okay, Jerome. Goodbye, guys. Hello there, it's me, Allie. Okay, so today we are going over um, a new sound. Okay, we're going to sound out this word. Now, if you look at this word and you accidentally say it incorrectly, it's okay because it'll help you say it right. All right, here we go. M -a -m -a. Okay, so this looks like a s, right? S er, there's a er. Messer. Messer. Do we messer? Do we messer things? We don't messer things, but we do measure. Measure things, okay? So I have this double underline to draw attention. So think of this combo. You know what this says. Shh. Well, add your voice to it. Uh-huh, it sounds kind of like this. All right, so I'm going to put this up here. Measure. Measure. Okay, now we're going to measure my head. Okay, so I'll hold this right there. And my assistant is helping me. Thank you, my assistant. Okay, it looks like about 11 inches. Uh-huh, we measured my head. Measure. Voila. Hey, guys. It's time for letter art. Oh, yeah. And this is what we're going to draw. Treasure. Okay, treasure. That's what we're going to draw. Okay, so I have a couple here. I just want to cover up some so we don't get so confused. Okay, just remember... This is double lined here, and it's going to say kind of like your shh, but you add a voice to it. Zzz. All right, kind of sounds like that. Here we go. Treasure. Here we go, marker time. All right, we're going to draw a diagonal. Another diagonal right underneath it. Okay, this one's a little longer. Close it up. Close it up. Okay, line down here straight. Okay, shorter line here, straight, shorter line here. Okay, close it up, close it up. Put lots of coins in there. First put a little line going straight down here. Uh-huh, and then lots of coins. Lots of fast little circles. Okay, we'll make a lid to it, okay? So take your time on this. We're gonna draw a little diagonal line going up. Uh-huh, and another one over here. Okay, close that up. All right, now we're gonna draw kind of the inside of that. So, little line here, little line there, and a little line there. And then we're gonna draw kind of the lid. So, a little diagonal, another little diagonal, close it up. There you go. Okay, and then, um, yeah, we'll just keep it plain. And then you can color the coins yellow, kind of golden. And you can color the chest, the treasure chest. You can take your time on this. My assistant's going very fast. All right, there's our treasure. Okay, remember, it's kind of like this with the heavy voice. Shh, into zh. All right, good job. And don't forget our list.